next game here. Oh. Be. No, no. No, that's a Guys. Yeah, what are your this matchup? What are your thoughts on it? This is the first time I've ever seen Amendment offline. And people have been saying this character is either going to be sleep or going to be really good. Also, Toad plays Palutena. So the name doesn't fit anymore. Yeah, it doesn't fit. Yeah, anymore. you got to change your tag at that point. Yeah, it'd be like Angel or something. Or Shield. <laughs> shield. Staff. Staff. <laughs> Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Let's nice jump in with these nares, getting the damage in. Once the nares, once the nair train starts, it don't stop. But well, it shouldn't stop. Yeah. And oh, okay, I'm. Oh, that min min grab is such a powerful tool. But uh, Toad is just being too aerial based for that to really uh, be an effective neutral tool at the moment. Yeah, mid range, you don't want to be against min min. She has all the buttons to press, and you don't. <laughs> yeah. Although the up smash recently got nerfed. Oh yeah. Um, Unfortunately. I mean. Slightly, I believe it was like a one frame uh, decrease on the startup for both the hitbox and the reflector. But I mean, that sort of thing can matter, especially A, that is an out of shield option, and B, when you're reacting to a projectile coming your way. And I know Palutena has received a uh, plethora of nerfs as well, but she's still strong as she can be. It's just not as easy as it is for her now. All right, again, mid-range against mid mid, a really bad spot. Oh, Don't want to I, keep her with that lead, up. especially when she has that dragon equipped. Yeah, this is it's sort of it's so hard because oh. when you were at long range, you're like she can't hurt me, so I'm just gonna stay at long range. <laughs> but then you can't get anything done. Eventually, you go in, and once you go in, that's when the horror can start. It's even worse when she when you're on the ledge for Cicero, where she has like the easy peasy edge guards. Well, oh, being wow. at the ledge against Palutena isn't exactly a walk in the park either. Yeah. We have Toad taking that first stock in uh, repost quite quickly. Um, and now we're in that sort of state of the game that we saw earlier where Gotham wants to be keeping Toad at the mid-range. But actually, it seems to be a lot more uh, close range than we had been seeing before. Very really good stuff here from Gotham taking their lead right back after losing that stock. Making it just seem like nothing ever changed since from stock one. <laughs> this is really good stuff. This is such a quirky disadvantage state. Just being trying to like stall while also throwing out these hitboxes off the ledge. And for the most part, Gotham has been avoiding some of that ledge trapping damage that Palutena can be known for. Oh, very. They're doing some uh, little ledge trapping of their own with the rings out. Let go right in time just for that, uh, that snap to take in Palutena recovers and now just takes the lead right back. Oh no, missed the rebound. I'm liking the use of Nair at ledge. We, I was talking before about how, oh, throwing out these hitboxes, but Nair is very fast and if you're uh, doing ledge jump or any kind of jump off of the ledge, uh, Nair from Palutena will catch you. Mm. So I like that as the option picked in order to shut down that particular style of leg. Ram, ram arm, very strong. No matter which one she throws out, it's just gonna be ready to kill. And the nice tether recovery come right back on. Goes right into some little damage. Oh, nice jump away from the, the flame. Good reaction. Oh wow, what a trade! That was almost toast kill. They were they were fishing for that back air, but I just couldn't get it in time. I feel like it was like a small execution error. There to cover that ledge. Now it's worth noting that we haven't seen Toad take oh. a. All right, there okay. it's it's the back air. But I was gonna say how the first stock had been taken with kind of that quirky edge guard. Uh, so we hadn't really seen Toad convert into a stock off of neutral yet. But Palutena has back air. It's such a powerful move, especially when the opponent is at ledge and you can oh, very, basically very. exploit it. And there as well. Oh, the sledge gun. This so scary. Whenever I see her just charging from like literally middle of the stage, <laughs> her head is murdered. You. And she has like the best arm like equipment right now the, the dragon arm and the, and the ram arm. Oh, I like the idea of using the teleport cancel to basically find a way Ooh. through this wall of arms. But Stars. even then, not enough to actually convert a hit. And Toad has been trapped at the ledge, not really able to figure out exactly how to open things up. Yeah. There's a kill. Any wrong mistake off that ledge, Gotham can just easily take this right now. The threat of Midman offline is still very persistent. 157% oh. though, and oh! Can't stay on that ledge forever. And it's so tragic. I will say, like, sometimes when you're, like, hanging on ledge, you can, like, 
you get hit by something, you're like, wow, that hits below ledge. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? And you're like, oh, wow, I can't believe that hits below ledge. You know that Min Min's arms are hitting you below ledge. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any excuse of ignorance for that hitting you. But it's scary, though. Like, she could have, like, caught, like, a free up jump there. I think neutral get up would have probably been the answer if you timed it right. But, like, oh, it's so scary. It's really hard to time, too. She's just right there, and she's ready yeah. to cover legit almost everything. All right, we're seeing the switch to Peach. This is actually interesting because I feel like Min Min actually would do a great job of shutting down Peach's float heights. Like, how does Peach get in specifically? Her airspeed isn't great. Then again, once Peach does get in, I feel like, you know, Palutena is good at damage. Peach is even better. Yeah, Peach's damage is insane if you know how to convert. And Toad also is jumping in at the at that right angle of, like, you know, where they float cancel, like, right in between, like that little airspace where they can anti-air and just jump, go right in with a down air or something for some good damage. Oh, it's oh, a stitch. stitch. Okay. We're good. We're safe. It's gone. Yeah, and I mean, that's another thing is that when he was uh, Palutena and he was at those longer ranges, you know, he kind of had to go in. But Peach can pull turnips and at least threaten Min Min to approach to a certain degree. It's all about seeing if you can outrange an anti-air Peach. If she can easily float in right in your face. Get that free damage in. Got them doing a good job of staying alive, but whiff punishing is uh is Peach's strong point in here if you're just whiffing out those smash attacks like that. And those it is arms. worth it was worth noting that the other nerf that uh Min Min received had to do with I believe the rate at which she Ooh. snaps to the ledge with her up B. And that's something that could be relevant with a Z drop turnip or something, you'll be much more likely to actually cover it. Yeah. Peach is more in control of the mid-range here. And she's just jumping in right off of anything that uh, Min Min whips here. So, again, that forward in, that another forward stitch. in. Another stitch? Yeah, another stitch. Oh, oh. the trade! I mean, 35 for that? Okay, it's, you got the stock. It. So, it's, you, you do say you're worth it, but then you also took 35% for a single hit. Yeah. 35's not that bad. It's like, if that was like 60, like I said, you were like fighting a Kazuya randomly. And That's he, also he comes back when you just hits you with 60 and, and you die. Also, you're up against Peach, so she's gonna be doing 60 to you as soon as she respawns anyway, pretty yeah. much. As soon as she gets in once. It hurts. Oh! oh! Dead at 30! I've never seen someone get outplayed so hard today. <laughs> I wanna talk about that one for days. <laughs> that was a great down air. Great recognition from De from Gotham to recognize that that was gonna spike and just get that free kill there off Toad. Also, think about the fact that he hadn't shown that as an option. Oh. Definitely, that was not something Toad was prepared for. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been going for things as risky as that. Yeah. yeah you th you you'll be thinking like the first thing like this character would be doing is spiking you like that or big damage. Say so, no, this character should be punching you from mid range. I'm like, oh, it hurts. I can't get in. Oh, oh, but despite that extremely early stock, we still have Gotham oh, down by a huge amount. They'll get the sleep back. Gotham cannot let Toad jump in on him again. They will definitely lose this game if they do. Oh, the spacing. Oh, oh. See, now they're mixing it up. Then they're just starting to jump with their with their, their long range moves now. So they, they don't get like that long oh, leg. <gasps> what a catch. Gotham is so good. Min Min offline. Can we talk about it? Going all the way up there for that. Both of the, those two stocks were like 